Hi, this is Amanda Kelly with this art called Life. We are on day 19 of my Let There Be Light series and we are quickly, quickly coming to the grand finale on the 21st, big day of energies ahead. So I wanted to dive in today to the notion, the idea that we are not alone and Really, I wanted to speak into this because I do really deeply uh, you know, understand and feel so much compassion for all the people out there, so many of us, who are feeling really isolated, really alone, physically, but also emotionally, psychologically, you feel disconnected perhaps. Um, because, well, we have been made to, you know, isolate social distancing is social isolation <laughs> um and the the truth is is that we have evolved in community we need human connection we need to be connected to other people and be in community and that is how we socially emotionally psychologically operate. We operate best in community and everybody has their different degrees of of need for being, um, you know, is for social interaction. Introverts, extroverts, of course, there is a wide range of needs. Some people do prefer to be more alone than others, but fundamentally, we are wired for connection. We are wired to communicate and there's literally mirror, mirror neurons in our brains that help us learn um, by watching the other and it, they fire when somebody else do, does something so literally we are wired neurologically to to learn through interaction and we have been completely separated from one another right now and so I do think that this is a really key aspect to speak into um, this idea that your community is out there, your tribe is out there. If you feel like you don't relate to people in your life anymore, then you know, go go seek other people, go find community online. This is the beauty of social media. It is actually getting harder and harder to do that, but these people are out there and I am here and <laughs> I'm so happy to connect with anybody who is feeling a little bit uh, lost or lonely or isolated right now. Um, and yes, please reach out. Please e even reach out to a professional. Um, that that level of connection is very valuable. And you know whether that's a therapist or a coach or a mentor or some kind of spirit guide. <laughs> and that's the next level of things that I'm going to get into. But yes, people are there for you. And we all need support. We all need connection and community. So now more than ever, we need to make these efforts to put ourselves out there and connect. And it's easier said than done for so many right now. But right now it literally is more than more important than ever because the other layer of this is that they have actually done studies on this related to cancer patients that loneliness and isolation is a basically they studied cancer patients and their level of connection and support and the people who had more support were more likely to survive. The people who had less support, who were more isolated and alone and didn't feel like they could connect or talk to people about what they were going through, so on and so forth, they had a much more grim outcome. So actually, and you know, then we get into the layers of m mental and mood disorders and or imbalances perhaps is the better way of looking at it. Um, and you know loneliness as a an isolation is a huge aspect of depression um people tend to self isolate often when they are struggling so this is something that we really um it would it would be very beneficial for us to examine when we are feeling low do we tend to isolate or do we reach out for support i know i uh, have 
historically been an isolator. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm getting, but I also know that I do have a need for alone time. I do need to disconnect. So it's a fine balance between needing your alone time to regenerate and isolating because you're feeling low and that's just gonna keep you in a per, uh, cycle typically. Uh, so we do wanna be really, really mindful of how much alone time we are giving ourselves. Um, some of it is super beneficial, some of it is not. So, um, so that's, that's one component, that's one layer, is that we actually need to reach out to each other. And if you know somebody who may be struggling, just check in on them and see how they're doing. And maybe they're okay, but maybe they really need, needed that, you know, that extra layer of, of connection. Maybe they need to have somebody reach out to them and you know, they're not able to ask for it right now because so many people are not in a space where they feel comfortable reaching out and asking for support. So, you know, without getting into any details and, you know, you know, crossing any lines, just ask how they're doing and offer your ear and, you know, listen with compassion and just hold the space. That is the number one thing is for people to be be allowed to be heard and to feel understood. So that right there is a huge piece of connection is simply listening and listening from a space of compassion, listening from a space of I am here for you and I'm not trying to fix you. I'm just holding the energy for you. And and that and there are other, you know, then you can evolve it from there if that's the right thing. But sometimes that's all that you are being called to do is just to step up and hold the space. Uh, so, so yeah, we have this idea of community and connection that are so key right now. And that will help us to raise our vibration collectively when we come together, the if, and we're all raising our frequencies together, it helps to raise the collective vibration, the collective frequencies much more dramatically. So this is why mass meditations are really powerful. When a group comes together and meditates and raises their frequency all at once, it can literally impact the frequency of the planet. They did these mass medita uh, meditations in the past where they actually studied the energetic like frequency of the planet after and they they also measured crime rates and one mass meditation actually reduced the crime rate and I'm you know I'm missing the details right now I think it was back in the 80s that they did this um but it it reduced the crime rate across the planet for a relatively extended period of time and it was statistically significant so the whole frequency vibration is very real and it's very powerful. So the more we come together and raise our energy, raise our frequency, raise each other up, support each other, and consciously create these higher vibrational states together, that is going to make help us make tremendous strides toward healing the planet, healing the collective consciousness, healing the collective shadows. So this is really truly important work and truly important layers to this work is, is the aspect of community and connection. There's so many layers. So it's, it's so fundamental and important. And next, <laughs> we can also find connection with our higher consciousness, with our guides, with our angels. They are there supporting us. And they are always there. It's just on us to call in and request support. They are waiting for you to ask for support. They are waiting for you to say, hey, I, I need some support, I need some love, I need some guidance. And they are willing and able and very, very happy and grateful for you to ask for that support. Because the thing is, is that they are on our side right now. 
they really, really want humanity to ascend. They really want to watch us succeed in this collective ascension process. So they are really, really trying to connect more and more, trying to make their presence known more and more. When you see synchronicities, um, especially number alignment, especially 444, which I see quite often, that is a sign that you are being guided, you are being supported, and you can call on that support. You don't need to see the numbers, you can just do it. So get quiet, raise your vibration through meditation, open up your channel for receiving, opening up the crown chakra, opening up the heart to be able to receive and, you know, release any fears and, you know, put a golden pillar of light around you and uh, to, for protection if you're worried about other negative entities trying to enter the space. So just call on them for guidance, call on them for support and they will show up for you. Just tune in, get quiet, and connect, and they are there. They are always there, and they are waiting for you to call on them. So whatever resonates with you, whoever resonates with you, there are many higher dimensional beings, interdimensional, I suppose that's accurate as well, because <laughs> we are all aspects of them, they are all aspects of us as well. We are all connected. That was the other key um, that I wanted to bring in here is that unity consciousness is such a huge part of this because we have been living in this paradigm of separation and you know, placing people above us as more powerful than us and that actually is inherently disempowering and it puts us in a state of disempowerment and victimhood. So when we are looking outside of ourselves, when we are trying to find a savior or rely on a savior, that is actually keeping us in a lower vibrational state. It is keeping us in disempowerment. So it is really, really fundamental that we really recognize that we are all one, that we are all connected. And I actually um, made this little comment yesterday. If it doesn't resonate that you are God, <laughs> um, we are all connected because we are all divine. We are all sparks of God. <laughs> so, you know, God is having, you know, and I use God in the sense of um, a higher power, source, um, higher consciousness, whatever resonates with you. It is not necessarily, uh, you know, the religious form of God that many of us are familiar with and that has actually um, basically polarized and disconnected a lot of us because we didn't feel connected to that version. So um, release any uh, preconceived notions that you may have of higher beings that are, you know, I don't know, that, that maybe they have not really resonated with you and just stay open. Stay open to who they might be Stay open to the possibility that you are actually equal to them as well and don't place them above you on a pedestal. That is another key to connecting with them is if you're making them higher than you, then it's actually going to potentially block the connection. So go within, raise up your fr frequency, raise up your vibration and Recognize that they are your friends. They are here to guide you. They are here to teach you. Yes, they are here to support you, but they are one with you as well. They are a part of you and you are a part of them. And they are your friend. <laughs> they are on the same level as us. Even the, though they're quote unquote higher dimensional beings, like the Andromedans, for example, have been making their presence known more and more for many people on the planet. And they are very, very high dimensional. Um, and they may show up in different ways, but like geometric patterns and frequencies and you know, there's a bunch of other star families like the Pleiadians and the Syrians and the Lyrans and there's, there's many and 
people are more connected with certain than other and it doesn't make one better or other whatever dimension they're from we are all you know they're all here to support us in different ways and the angels as well they very much are here to support and guide us so whoever comes through for you and you know don't try to force it don't get discouraged if you don't feel a direct sense of connection that doesn't it's not necessarily them like showing up and speaking to you uh that it, it doesn't happen like that for many many people at all it may be signs and synchronicities showing up for you i get a lot of that myself and they might show up in many different ways like frequencies and um, you know sound frequencies and light and uh, sacred geometry patterns so there's a multitude of ways that they show up and just stay open to it stay open to receiving whatever support and guidance they might have for you and you can ask them specific questions but also you know what is in my highest good right now what message do you have for me what do I need to know that is a very um, open but helpful way because it sometimes they have a specific thing that needs to come through that you're not even aware of so constraining it by only asking specific uh, questions um, may limit what is available to you even though much more is available to you like everything is available to you and you know we just have to stay open to receiving it so <sighs> yeah, <laughs> so I guess I will wrap this up by saying the fundamental aspect that we really need to anchor in within is that we are all one to really integrate this wisdom and knowledge that we are all connected, but beyond that, we are all one. We are all from the same source <laughs> and from that space, you see God in everyone, you see yourself in everyone, and then that really helps to mitigate a lot of the um, despair, destruction, uh, <laughs> the, the wars, the anger, the hate, the fear. It really will begin to dissipate the more and more you begin to embody this understanding of we are all one and this, there's actually if you want to dive in deeper to this and um, try to understand it more deeply um, I encourage you to research the law of one and it, there's a lot of videos on YouTube for example and it's um, it's really beautiful it's really beautiful stuff so it really helps us to come back to center in my opinion <laughs> and it's very grounding but also very empowering in that you are placed at the center of the universe just like everyone else. We are all the center of the universe because we are all one and we are all beautiful, powerful, worthy beings. So shine your light, shine bright, come back to the knowing that you are light, that you are love and that is the truth, that is the truth for all of us. So over the next couple days, I am going to be, uh, you know, diving into the whole embodiment process of the light because the 21st is the big day and tomorrow the energies really begin to come through. So it is a really important time to meditate, to ground down, to anchor in the light. So really focus on your vision of what you want to create and anchor that into the earth. What do you want to create? What does the most beautiful version of reality look like to you? Anchor that in, ask for support and guidance. It is there for you. So I'm sending you so much light and love and I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys.